Hey everybody, it's Goddess Jillian. Welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. So this is where I sit in my infrared sauna and talk about spiritual topics to help me get through this thing we call life and hopefully I help some people along the way. Woo baby! So this is my day 12 of self-quarantine. Five days of self-quarantine and then seven days of California mandated stay at home. And so... Needless to say, it's a little intense. However, I'm very blessed because I have a beautiful home and a beautiful yard to, you know, quarantine in. And so, um, what I wanted to talk about today is this can obviously bring up a lot of things. Um, and, you know, you can keep your sub busy doing a lot of things that you put off forever. Like I've done today. The garage got clean reinforce my entire fence so my dog can be on the whole property just whatever and that helps for sure especially if you can do it outside and not put yourself at risk but one of the things that I also did yesterday and yesterday was an emotional day for me but um and it's partly because you know I'm an empath and I I do readings and I just it's been a lot it's been pretty overwhelming the feeling of everything and what I'm seeing is a little bit overwhelming. So that's why I just keep telling everybody, stay inside no matter what, please. It's like, oh God. And I know there's the whole economic thing, but it's just, you, you, you never know. Because we haven't in the United States have not seen the worst of this. This week and next week and probably even the next week is going to be very, very, very telling. And let's just say it could get really intense. So just stay inside. Don't go to the grocery store. Stay inside. Um, and you know what? If you need food, look for donations or somehow to get them without having to go inside of the grocery store. If you do have to go in the grocery store, by all means, wear a mask and gloves. And just completely be overly careful. Because this thing spreads like wildfire. And I mean it. Um, and I believe that people can have it and not even have any symptoms and pass it along. You know? So, anyway, what I did yesterday, um, which I want to talk about today, is I reached out to everybody in my life that means something to me. Uh, that you know, that I care about. Everybody that I care about. Now, I care about my clients and I care about a lot of people, but I mean people that really made a difference in my life and that, you know, I have a heart connection with. Hold on. All right. Um, sorry. And, you know, it was wonderful because no one is doing anything, so everybody took the time, you know, to really connect on a heart-centered level. And it was amazing because... All of these people I adore, you know, they're big part of, my, at least some part of my life, they were significant. And even if we don't see each other or talk to each other now, still big time significant people that made a difference in my life at some point or another. So I reached out to everybody and if they weren't answering, I just left a heart centered message because like I said in my last vlog, you know, this, this virus does not descend, um, discriminate it it is weirdly it takes whoever has this area that has issues and so um everybody please take heed and be safe and take this time to reconnect with people that or maybe even make amends to people that you know somehow ha maybe wronged or just that you just want to really reconnect with and have a heart centered, I care about you, I love you unconditionally, you mean a lot to me conversation because you never know. You really never know, okay? So I said yesterday, take it easy, try to be at peace in the home or wherever you are with your roommates or your housemates or your family. It can get very intense with all the fear flying around. And it is so important to stay positive because energetically, a lower vibration is a lower immune system is more apt to get sick, okay? So it's just so important to try to, even if you just have to literally meditate all day or 
you know, do jumping jacks in place all day. Whatever it is to keep your mind from going into the darkness. It's not positive. So that means you have to also discern what information you're letting in. Because if you go on the news, dude, <laughs> and I predict, actually, I saw it in one of my readings that they might even shut down some of social media or all of it even. If things get really hairy because if people start putting out panic stuff and the population starts to panic, you know, National Guard is here. So please try to be peaceful, come from the heart, try to help people, go online, try to give where you can, if you can, go online if you need to try to see if you can get, and hopefully everybody will come together in this tragic, tragic, tragic pandemic and come from the heart and overcome it and become, you know, fully 5D enlightened being on, beings on this planet because it's all about the heart, baby. So please be safe. Everybody out there, please be safe. Stay inside. Stay inside. And if you need a reading, all my readings are discounted. You can book online and woo, we'll all get through this, okay? Please subscribe. I'm going to be putting a lot more videos up, okay? So, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Maybe we can get some clarity together. <laughs> all right, so...